Hi and welcome to this non-tech introduction to Composite C1. My name is Oscar and I want to go through some of the selected features for the end users, also highlighting some of the features for the end user in our latest release, version 4.2. First of all, for the people who do not know the Composite C1 project, um, we are open source based on the latest Microsoft stack. We are running in 150 countries, growing with 1,000 installs a month. We have reached 45,000 installations worldwide, translated into 10 languages by the community. Russian, Chinese, German, latest, we got a French uh, translation. Sites that built on Composite C1, this month we had the Obama administration running a campaign site on Composite C1, which was absolutely fantastic. We also have National Geographic running a global campaign on uh, C1. All right, let's go in and look at some of the features. Here we go. This is actually one of some of the new stuff that we have in version 4.2. This is our new starter site called Venus. And uh, this is also the site where we'll actually show you the new stuff on. It's a website, responsive website. It's, it's uh, based on the Bootstrap framework, um, meaning that it's mobile, tablet friendly. And this is completely uh, free of charge. Um, this, you will actually be introduced for this option when installing Composite C1, you can choose this site to give you a head start. All right. When logging into Composite C1, you would get this view. This view is the Composite C1 console. On the right side, you have the working area. On the left side, you have the structural area. Go in here. You actually just browse your site can see here in my structural area on the left that it will actually follow where am I makes it very easy for the author just to use the site build for them search use the navigation of course go in and say all right I want to edit the front page use the up here the context sensitive menu bar I go in, press edit. And here is actually one of the key new features in version 4.2. Here you have a preview of the functions for the people who are already known to Composite C1. These boxes were actually just green before. Now we have it now we have a preview, which makes it much easier for an author to actually you know know what they are editing. Down here you see there's different functions. I can go in and press edit. In this data side, we gave the author an, an option to choose a different background color. This could be, you know, the different colors that comply with the, the corporate design guidelines. So, you know, they want me only to, to, to choose between these different colors. Let's just do a primary color. We can go edit, of course, the content as we know it. Okay. I gave it a primary color. Which is this green color? Of course you still have the preview. And here you go. All right. Another feature in uh, Composite C1 uh, for the end user is when editing in more uh, pages and also want to reuse content and functionality across uh, pages. Let's say we want to edit another page. We can go down here. Let's say page templates. These are some of the page templates that comes with the starter side. Let's say page with writer side. Go edit. And then let's say I want to reuse the function that I have on the front page. This was the one. Control C, go into the tab, Control V, and here you go. 
One of the good parts is that you have these different tabs open, so you always have access to the concept that you want to edit right now, the concept that you're working with. And let's just see. Um, we can go in here. Just hang on. And maybe add a, a form to this. And here again, of course, you can go in and insert the form from up here, but I, or the form builder. But I can also reuse one of the form that I already have. Let's go in here and see. It's the form builder down here. Edit that page. Market Control C. Go into my page here. And here we go. Can of course edit the form builder. This form builder I think is $135 or so. You can choose this thing here. There's different opportunities for you. Multi file upload. What a new heading. My first form. OK. In the bottom. Preview. And here you go. In this page template, I also have the possibility of I have actually a right column. I can go in here, copy it, or just cut it. Now I'm just going to cut it. Go aside column, go in here, Control V, breathe in, preview. And here you go. Now I have my form on the right side. So all in all, this is uh, some of the things that we've been working on and we're, you know, we're proud to, to be released now. I think author experience is if approved uh, massively. All right, let me just show you one more thing. I can go into, uh, I have this open already, that is uh, the front page. I go down here, here we have three different functions, I go and edit. With the Bootstrap framework and the, the starter sites, we actually also get free access to this icon package, which also makes it just easier to, to change your icons. And so it's out of the box, comes you know, completely free with, with the start site, which is also a, a really little neat uh, feature. Okay. Let me just end with, with another just remove this. Go in here to our primary content. Just, just. Then I just wanted to show you. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. Just to drag and drop a picture. I just take a thing for the for my desktop. Then it asked me to put it in a folder, choose this one, say OK, here we go, then I just put in a picture, C1 asked me to put it in my media archive, so I have it there for later use as well. Here I can actually also go in and choose some of the neat things we have for the author is first, if I activate the picture, I can go here, up. that's the style selector, it said OK. Here comes with the pre-configured pre-configurations and see I want it rounded. You can see I can want it circled. So this makes it also much easier for me to 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 um, to, uh, to to play and edit with with the with the media that I have available. Also, beside the style selector, I have the block selector, and this is also some pre-configured setup. I can see I would actually like two columns, or I would like three columns, and this is also uh, out-of-the-box uh, functionality. Okay, thank you very much. I think uh, that's it for the, the introduction here. Let me just end 
the session by uh, telling you a little bit about the things that we're working on right now. We're working on a new installation start flow. I'll actually show you a little peek of that. We are working on introducing a new look and feel uh, of the C1 console. And also we are in the process of making more uh, both free and probably also some of them will be commercial responsive starter sites. If you will take a peek of uh, our start flow, it is work in progress, so I can promise you that things will be looking like this when we have the final result, but it will be a tree step when installing Composite C1. Welcome to Composite. Then we'll have this, choose template, where you can see the Venus site is, is here. Um, you can go in and have a live preview of it. You can of course choose the design. We'll also have highlights, you know, we might bundle uh, the starter sites with uh, some add-ons that are also pre-configured, which will enable you to give you a, a really good head start. These you know, starter sites are really something that we want to work uh, more with. And then, of course, last step is choosing the language of your website. You can always choose that later on. And you create a, a profile, so you have a login for your website, of course. And this will also make you an account at composite.net where you can actually see your history. What, if, uh, what site do I have installed? Uh, what add-ons do I have installed? And, and so on. Last but not least, of course, uh, on version 4.2, we have worked on making Composite C1 running on a tablet. In this example, it's, a, it's an iPad. And uh, this is also where the uh, the feature of, of actually browsing the sites comes in very handy. Uh, so you just you know have the sites preview it, you know surf your site, push edit and so on. Anyways, thank you very much for your participation. Thank you very much uh, for your your time. And uh, please um, do uh, reach out for us. You know, good and bad. Go in and review us uh, and, and of course you know uh, meet us both on facebook and follow us on twitter etc so thank you very much and talk to you soon